Hi, I'm uh, Kyle with Prompter People. I've been with the company five years. I run the marketing with Prompter People. We are based out of Campbell, California. We design, assemble, and manufacture our equipment out of California. We make teleprompting software. We make teleprompters from smartphone teleprompters like our Pocket Q, iPad, 12 inch, 15 inch, 17 inch, studio and broadcast teleprompters, PTZ teleprompters, all the way to desktop streaming and presidential teleprompters. This is our Pocket Q teleprompter. This is designed basically to work with smaller cameras. It can also work with iPhones, Androids. You can shoot with it in portrait or landscape mode. It fully breaks down. So the glass disassembles, the lens actually goes into the hood. So the lens is not connected to the hood at all. This back sled comes off, so it's a modular system. So if you add a rapid adapter onto the bottom up to this system, then you'll be able to put it onto a freestand and then you would be able to put a larger camera onto the teleprompter. You can slide a larger camera behind it with the smaller teleprompter. And we make our own software, Telescroll, with this teleprompter as well, which is available on App Store or Android. This is our uh, ProLine Plus model. This is more for studio builds. We also make the pedestal. It's a pneumatic 55 pound uh, head pedestal. So you can raise and lower the teleprompter as one system. Even though this is a 50 pound setup, it doesn't take multiple people to raise and lower it. This is trapezoidal studio glass, but our systems are modular, so you can switch the glass out all the way down from a 24, 17, 19, 15, or 12 inch monitor and glass, and you can put an iPad on this. So the back sled is removable here. So you can convert this to a 15 millimeter or a freestand model with our plus kits. And their affordable kits are $100 each. And it's a very quick one screw conversion. It's just a flathead screwdriver. And it takes about five minutes to convert, or not even five minutes, it takes about one minute to convert it out. And the hood actually does move up and down. So you're able to adjust for different height lenses, different height cameras. And then we have rising block systems as well as our uh, camera mounting systems, and then our tripod adapter plate, so this works with any tripod on the market. So you don't, oh, so it's uh, like hydraulic? Yeah, hydraulic, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it's hydraulic, it's 4280. So you don't have to like worry about... Uh, yeah, multiple people. Yeah, you don't have to kill your back. That's you don't, cool. and it's only 4,280 and it supports 55 pounds. That's cheap, right? I know, it's the cheapest one on the market. Most affordable, I shouldn't say cheapest, because it's really high quality. We just don't want to kill the customers. We want to give them a good teleprompter and give them good support for the teleprompter. So um, this is our talent monitor model. The talent monitor can be added at purchase or you can add it later. All of our systems, we want to be focused on modularity, affordability, and quality. The glass is prime made American low iron beam splitter glass. So you don't lose any image color to the camera. It's going to be the same color on every single camera as long as your camera sensors match. And all you have to do is either stop down or open up your iris or click up to compensate for about a quarter stop of light loss from the teleprompter. So this is our Robo Junior Max. We also make a Robo Junior. This one is designed for the Sony FR7 and the new Panasonic 4K, the larger PTZ systems. The Robo Junior is designed for the older PTZ systems, the old 1080 ones and some of the smaller 4K ones. It's uh, also outfitted with a talent monitor bracket and a high bright monitor with four pin XLR for power and 3G SDI loop in and loop out. You're able to basically put any of the newer larger 4K PTZs that are fresh out on the market like the Sony RPAR7 inside of this, mount it, you have three cable spouts, easy access in the back through a back panel. It mounts in a few seconds with a, a quick release plate. So you're not dealing with any hassle with trying to get inside of the unit and fiddling with wires or anything like that. And you can control the PTC remotely. It doesn't interfere with any of the signals. And NDI is coming into our monitor soon within the next three months, as well as, like I said, four pin XLR, HDMI, 3G SDI loop through, 
and VGA if you are on an older system. And then we also have a robo and a, we also make tripods and pedestals for this and we're making a robotic pedestal coming to the market later this summer. So this is our desktop streaming series. We make these from 24, 22, 15 to 12 inch. Um, this allows you to actually prompt onto the monitor and our software is proprietary. So you can scale the screen in and you can move the teleprompter software anywhere on the screen. You can also scale your screen in and you'll be able to see yourself on the teleprompter while you're reading. You could do Zoom meetings, Google meetings, uh, you can do Twitch live streaming, uh, YouTube live streaming, you can have live tweets coming up. Anything you can fit on your desktop, you can mirror or to extend it and it'll show up on your teleprompter display. It'll allow you to use high quality cameras like the Sony FX3, FX6, um, any of the Blackmagic cameras, but I would recommend using the FX3 because it has better autofocus or Sony A7S3 because it has better autofocus. And a system like this, you're a one person operator and you're not gonna be able to pull focus. So having the ability to use a camera that has good autofocus features with a system like this gives you a step up when it comes to streaming or when it comes to being you know, a CEO and representing your company in a better image and actually seeing yourself on the screen and making sure that you look good on the image that's being portrayed out to your clients.